everyone, this is Kyle Rumdo here for another video. Uh, if you saw my Mega Man Legacy co collection unboxing, I pretty much hinted in there that I'm going to be doing another new video for you guys so that I can give you guys something to watch uh, for today. And um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can start making videos more. But, but uh, we'll see what happens. I really want to start doing YouTube more again. It's just hard right now because I have to resort using the the I create on the PS3 and then exporting it and then copying it over to USB and then taking it to a computer <laughs> and then find the fucking file and then find the damn video and then upload it and wait for it to upload and anyways. Let's get to it. This, as most of you know, two new Sonic games were were released. And for people that are my subscribers that know me very well, is that, well, if you do, I'm a huge Sonic uh, the Hedgehog fan. I started playing, I got into Sonic when I, when my buddy actually uh, put on the, the Sonic uh, OVA. Or, or, or known here as the Sonic of the Hedgehog movie, <coughs> which, which, it's it's a good shit. I still like it a lot. And it goes lagging. Uh, that shit, I'm getting so sick of. And there's no way to be there, unfortunately. So just try and deal with it, you guys. I'm really sorry about this. Anyways. The two new Sonic games were Sonic Mania and Sonic Project uh, 2, 2, 2017. Sonic Mania looks, and I've been hearing that it plays like a 2D Sonic game. It is pretty much the true Sonic 4. <laughs> I know that's cliche, but it is kind of Sonic uh, the, the Hedgehog 4. I... I never played um, Sonic uh, the 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 Hedgehog Four Episode One, Episode Two, and Episode Metal. I've heard mixed things about them. Like uh, there's people that like them or don't like them, and uh, there were changes in there that was very controversial. Um, this is during when Class of Sonic was kind of dead per se, until until. Generations came out, and then, and then they brought both Sonics in in one world together. So that kind of made them realize that Class that Class of Sonic is still be loved, and uh, and uh, they got Chris Whitehead doing this. And uh, as uh, as as for the people that don't know, he has done three ports. Pretty much remake slash ports of uh, of uh, three classic class Sonic games: Sonic One, Sonic Two, and Sonic CD. Which he added some new shit to them to make them new. Um, I've heard some good stuff about them actually. I need to check them out, and uh, I'm hoping Sega approves him to do uh, a Sonic Three and Knuckles thing. Uh, a a, a uh, Sonic uh, Three and Knuckles, and I really hope that they would <coughs> port. His um, his versions of a uh, of Sonic One and Two to uh, the PS4 because or maybe even PC even or heck the 3DS even because <coughs> sorry about that I got a little bit of uh, I got a little bit of a, I got a a little bit of a cough today but uh, you know I don't play mobile games all that much I do have one that I play a little bit, and that's uh, Star Wars uh, Galaxy of Heroes. But other than that, I don't play PC. I mean, I mean not PC games, uh, mobile games. I'm not a mobile gamer. If uh, if uh, people are, are into it, that's fine. It's just not for me. I hate the controls. Um, so, pretty much, and, uh, and uh, ironically, they're both coming out in 2017. And I can't wait for that. As for Project 17, it, by the way, the trailer that it gave up is going to be a lot more darker Sonic game. 
Uh, Classic Sonic is, is back, but it is not a sequel. It is not Sonic uh, Generation 2, but <clears throat> Takasi and Azuka. This is what I'm going to say. Until you give us a title of that game, I'm going to continue calling it Sonic Generation 2. <laughs> you have Mario Sonic and Classic Sonic, all right? <laughs> This is that you're not going through time and uh, and uh, reeve and a reeve and a reeve visiting old old levels. So <sighs> there's there's not much known about that. There's different there's people there's rumors and things like uh, because uh, there's this one that because there's three Eggman robots it's going to be Clack Sonic, Mono Sonic, and then like Boom Sonic. <sighs> Which I'm I mean I like uh, the Sonic Boom show, but. The Sonic Boom, if we're going to be getting a dark game, I can't, I mean, I I understand that dark movies and comedy, re, uh, has some comedy moments in there, <clears throat> lighting up the tone of it. Alright, stopped. But, um, I don't know about that. I guess so we're just, we're just, we're just going to wait and see. Now for the part I said that might be a little bit controversial for that may get me a little bit in trouble here. My opinions of uh, of a Sonic Adventure 3 coming is that would I play it? Hell yeah I would. You know, I would gladly play it. I mean is it a game that I want badly? No. It's not a game I want badly. I'm not I don't play Sonic for the Adventure series. I don't play Sonic for the classic Genesis games. I play Sonic for all of it. Okay. Would I... Would I plan a... You know, yes, but here's the thing. What is a Sonic Adventure 3? Because you have 06, it's considered added, and then... And then, during the early de 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 development stages of Unleash, that was also considered as... Sonic Adventure 3 until, until they started adding new new elements and then they kind of changed its name. Even if they do release a Sonic Adventure 3, I don't think that it would be called that. I think it would be more inspired by it. I think it I think it would be more I think that it it I, I think that the, I think it would be inspired by it. But here's the thing. I'm not gonna cry or freaking say fuck you Sega for not re releasing Sonic Adventure 3. Cause quite frankly, there's a lot of shit that bothers me about Sonic Adventure 2. Um, which is not well it's not a lot of reasons, it's not big reasons, it's more like just stuff that kinda makes the game fall short for me. Like, I'm not a fan of the Emerald Hunting missions in there. I prefer the Emerald Hunting missions in the first adventure game. Um, but the music in, in freaking SA2 is fantastic. That's what I noticed about when uh, they have June so Saroy doing the soundtrack. It, it's always epic. It's always dramatic a bit, too. And, uh... He knows his shit way, you know, he knows his way around a fretboard. <laughs> he's a good damn guitar player that he's definitely a, a big influence on me because I'm, I listen to Crush 40 a lot. Even if you're not a, 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 a gamer, you, you know, Crush 40 is a great band anyways. Is a great rock band. I mean, open your heart, live and learn. I am all me. What I'm made of. Nights of the wind. Ah, oh, all good shit. <laughs> and on Spotify, they have like uh, they they have uh, a lot of the soundtracks on there from uh, Sonic Avenger, from like Sonic R, all the way up to uh, Sonic uh, Lost World. And um. <clears throat> and uh, I made this big ass playlist with it's something about Sonic music. So that's more of my personal playlist. I might post a link down if you guys want to listen to it. 
I'm also going to be posting my uh, church account in the description below so that you guys can follow me on there because I I do want to stream more but it's hard to do so so if I do stream it's going to be more towards the night because of my dogs um, and plus whatever and plus whatever's going on in there <coughs> during the day but um but yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind if, like, uh, Sonic Adventure 3 came out. I don't think that it would be called Sonic Adventure 3. I just think that it would be inspired by it. It would be very similar aspects, but but with more better graphics and with, and with uh, a lot more polished controls. Because, <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but I think uh, this might be because, because I'm much more used to how Modern Sonic plays nowadays. But after playing Adventure 2, the characters seemed all, all, all you know, the control seems all slippery. It might be just me, but, um, I'm not saying that I hate the Adventure series. I'm not. I don't want people to say, well, you know, why are you hating on the uh, Adventure series? They're good games. They are good games. I'm not going to argue with anyone on that. Sonic, uh, Sonic Adventure 2 was, uh, the reason why I wanted a GameCube. And, uh, but yeah, you know, if that game ever comes out, I think, honestly, it's not going to be called Sonic Adventure 3. I think it's going to be called something else, but under, but under, but under that name, it's still going to have elements of the original series. Um, and I think right now Sega's trying to distance themselves from Sonic 06 as possible. So if they do release a a second adventure inspired game, it's gonna it's gonna stay far away from Sonic 06 as possible. That's the same about Sonic 06. Like I'm probably one of the few people that actually don't mind playing it. I mean, here's the thing: the bugs and the glitches and Silver's gameplay is, gets on my nerves. I don't mind Silver as a character, but I hated his gameplay. He was so slow. I mean, good lord. And that's not because I got so used to, you know, you know, Unleashed, Colors, and Generations. I played Sonic 06 before all those. I played it before those games were even announced, guys. <laughs> I mean, the music is awesome in that game too, but, you know, I can't wait till next year, two new Sonic games, I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering them both. I'm probably going to get Sonic Boom, Fire, and Ice, if uh, the reviews are good. Um, or if people say that it's it's better than Rise of Lyric and uh, Shattered Deep... Uh, shattered dimensions, I think. But, anyways, you guys, this is Kai Rundo here. Have a good day, and uh, I'll see. And I'll uh, see you all later. Like I said, I'll post my uh, playlist if you guys want to listen to some Sonic music in one convenient place, or uh, if you guys want to follow me on Twitch. So, anyways, uh, have a good day. Rock on, and. Uh, the Blue Blur, I think, is going to be having a big comeback next year. Hopefully. They they started having a comeback, and then they changed up their gameplay. And that's Sega's problem. That's why some games are not as good as the others. Anyways, that's it for me. Rock on.